Hey guys, Kid Gear, and I want to talk about uh, Safari 4 today, and just some features go over it real quick. Uh, now, sorry at the video on Safari is a little laggy for some reason. I don't know why, but it's not it's not really a bug. But when I record over Safari with Camtasia, I get this lag effect. Not like just in Safari. I guess maybe because of the cover flow or something. I don't know what's going on, but I've tested it in Firefox. Nothing's going wrong here, so maybe a little choppy. But hopefully, it'll fix smooth out in the rendering process. But uh. Uh, anyway, I want to talk about Safari 4, the new browser for uh, Mac and Windows. This is a whole, you know, new release by Apple. It's in beta, so, you know, there is a little bit of bugs. And one minor bug uh, I got in here is graphical-wise. As you see these lines, these black lines run through. Even if I'm not recording, you get these little black streaks through my, uh, um, what do you call it, my top sites. And this top site is similar to Opera. Uh, it shows your favorite sites that you most visit or anything like that. So, based off of how many times you visit the site. Now, if I click Edit here... I can go into medium or small, but a bug is also happening there when I click those. It, now, this is on Windows. On OS 10, I'm sure it's more smoother, but here on Windows, if I click small, I'll get about uh, 28 little squares showing uh, my top sites I vision, and medium is showing uh, about, I think, uh, 12. But I would uh, I would show you, but the recorder would mess it up. So, uh, so you get uh, in large, you get six, and six is enough for me. It's, you know, the top six sites I visit. Okay, so that's top sites. That's one of the newest features. Now, also, if I close this tab real quick, uh, if you go over to the history, you get this cover flow type look through your history. Now, uh, this I think is not not really a little bit overkill. I mean, it's really cool, you know, mind that a lot of people like cover flow and all, but uh, you know, they're pushing it out a lot uh, in the browser, but uh, it's not you know intensive or anything, not too intensive. Uh, but, you know, it just shows your history sites you've been to in, in, in a cover flow type thing. So if you ever want to, you know, scan through that. Uh, but, you know, that's original. Uh, not many browsers, not really browsers do that at all, except mm, Firefox if you get an add-on. But, uh, you know, they use that on iTunes. They implement it in the browser. And it looks, you know, not, you know, it doesn't look too bad. So you can do this with your bookmarks and history. You can just easily search through to see your UI of uh, sites you visited. Okay, so here on the, uh, just on Google here, you notice the tabs are at the top now. Now, they're uh, more Chrome-like, and you can easily just move them out, pull it out, and you get that type of window overlay, and you can move it to another Safari window, or etc., uh, stuff like that. Now, if you click that little plus, you'll just get a new tab button of your top sites. Um, now, you can go back to the old uh, UI, but I'll show you that maybe in another video. You have your little, you know, preferences and stuff over here. Just replace the whole file menu thing, the two buttons to go into all this stuff right here. And then you have this report a bug. This is just because it's a beta. And, uh, so, yeah. You have your search over here and your regular, uh, you know, address bar over there and your back and forth. And then also that's for a new bookmark if you want to bookmark the current page. And it comes with some standard feeds, Wikipedia and news feeds. And I just click down so you can see there. So it's pretty slim, you know. They And since they put the tab up here, just like uh, if you're used to Chrome, it's more at the top. It's really slim. It's uh, really fast, efficient. I have some notes here that I want to pull up. Or let me just find out where I put them up. Oh, wrong one. Uh, okay, so. No, <laughs> wrong one again. Okay, so, you know, I covered top sites. The UI's changed a little bit. Tabs, obviously. It's pretty fast. For a beta, it's pretty fast. It handles Flash content well. I've been using it for maybe almost, ever since it came out. There's minor bugs, graphical-wise. Uh, on the Windows side, I'm sure on OS 10 it's more efficient. Uh, but you know, the browser's been good. It runs well. You know, like I've been, I've run it through some a lot of testing, I guess. Uh, you know, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of podcasts, a lot of media content that I listen to. Uh, it does good, and it's only beta, mind you. So uh, it's really, really well. Now, I want to get into it uh, and comparing it to Firefox, because other than the you know whole change, the UI and cover flow, uh, not much else has changed so far. Just you know under than that, you know, feature-wise, but, you know, that, then it's faster, it's more efficient, and, you know, it doesn't crash, it hasn't really crashed on me in beta-wise, but, okay, so I'm going to switch over to Firefox and talk a little bit about what other people have been talking about comparing it to Safari. Okay, so the first thing here, people mention now, one thing with a tab interface, when you have the window stretched like it is here, or maximized, it kind of looks ugly and a little weird, that how the tab gets all the way stretched out, and it doesn't end, like, till the, you know, the very end, unless you open a new tab, it shortens it. Uh, some people say, you know, oh, it doesn't really matter, because, uh, I, you know, I look, some people look at their windows, not maximized, but more, you know, uh, they put it to their own adjustments, because of their resolution, and it doesn't look that bad, but for people like me, I have dual monitors, dual 22s. I like to have my browser maximized on one and, you know, all my other stuff on the other. And it just kind of looks kind of weird because the whole bar is elongated and it looks kind of, you know, weird compared to what it just be shortened down. But uh, that's one thing that Dragon Ball Jiu-Jitsu talked about. 
Uh, and you know, like me, like I said, I have my thing always maximized, usually, and it looks kind of weird, so maybe I uh, just, you know, a little graphical type thing. Now, the size, I know a lot of people say it's more slimmed down, it's more slimmed down because they put the tabs on the top, and they don't like Firefox because it's too bulky. Now, I want to show a couple things about Firefox, because I'm a huge Firefox user. I'm not trying to be biased here, but I just want to show some stuff. Okay, now, example here, this is Firefox. It's not what mine originally looks like. I made the icons bigger what they look like default now this is a custom theme I showed uh, I put the bars where they should be I have my navigation bar should be right here and they have even a bookmarks bar which Safari has and I can even move my bookmarks uh, which are up here so let me just go to customize and I'll move my bookmarks even down there so by default maybe it would look something like this but you know not really this bulky but uh uh, it'll, it'll look more better. This is just a custom theme, and I have some adjustments and some add-ons. Now, the, the Firefox has these three elements. Now, every time I show people my Firefox, uh, one thing Firefox w uh, has over Safari and will have over Safari is its user-driven, uh, meaning add-ons. You know, we want an add-on. Somebody out there will make it, and it's you know it's really that great. Now, something uh, we can do out of the box, which most people you know when they're comparing the how bulky it was, is we can slim it way more slimmer than Firefox. So, so people are saying, you know, oh, you have all these four bars when you even open a new tab, so I'll have all that. Now, um, one, you know, something like Top Sites, that was something on Opera. I have a similar add-on called Fast Dial, which I've been using on Firefox, which is great. Now, I want to show you here how to how I slim mine down. So, uh, for example, I'll hit Customize. I'm going to move my address bar up here, move all my buttons up here. And now, this is something that... Uh, not a lot of people, you know, we're talking, touching on that you can actually move all the stuff to one bar, and I can just click this button right here, use small icons, hit done, and then I can simply get rid of the bookmarks bar and navigation bar. Now I have this whole slimmed down Firefox, you know, th and then I have this add-on called Tiny Menu, which puts all this stuff into one little, you know, dialog box. So, uh, you know, it's just about as slim as Safari, and you know, and, uh, it's not, you know, too bad, so let me get Safari open here. And just showing you a side by side comparison here. Uh Safari just about matches up with Firefox. Now, keep in mind this is just a custom theme. The default theme is even smaller than this theme that I'm using. And not only that, uh like I said, the add ons is just what gives Firefox the edge, and that's why I've always been a Firefox user. I'm not trying to be biased here, but you know, Safari four is great and all, but I just want to talk about some things that people, you know, touched on saying how Safari is more bulky and uh less thin than Firefox when you can actually make it just as thin or, you know, even thinner. Uh, this is just one of the themes I'm using, so that's just what I wanted to touch on in Firefox. Other than that, Safari is a uh, great... Sorry, I just had to pull it over here. Uh, you know, it, the UI is, you know, the nice... I like the nice new uh, UI. I may switch... To, you can switch the old one. Uh, maybe, you know, they do have some adjustments to do on Windows still, on the Windows side. On OS 10 looks great. Look, I haven't seen many bugs uh, from the reviews. But I would, you know, it it uh, doesn't feel much like a beta. I mean, it, it, they did a great job on releasing it. it feels nice and steady, uh, stable. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it. Uh, you know, I can't wait till it comes out uh, officially, and hopefully they'll fix the minor bugs that are there, and you know, the little graphical UI bugs. But uh, yeah, so I just want to give my opinion on that and just some comparison to uh, that of it against Firefox. Right? I may do a whole new other video on that, but you know, just wanted to show how slim Firefox can be at the same time because I am. Still mainly a Firefox browser, but Safari comes up maybe in the top three, maybe second. Uh, right, Actually, it, it's it's close up there with Chrome, but it would probably be third or second uh, around there. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you want to make a video response, whatever, go ahead. Uh, feel free to. Feel free to comment, uh, rate, and subscribe, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, catch you next time.